So we're gonna make the Kumamoto lobster roll. We got lobster and scallops inside the sushi roll. Yes, chef, yep. You get the black caviar, you get the red caviar. Beautiful presentation, it smells impeccably fresh. A little dry ice in the martini glass. Fire! Uh, masterpiece, man, masterpiece. Stuff like I wanna pose with, like ta-da! Ta-da! <laughs> I love sushi counters because the mise en place is impeccable. Like everything just looks like so perfectly manicured. And I love to watch great sushi chefs roll sushi. It's about the knife cuts, it's about the grated fish, Absolutely. it's about the rice, and that's it. Hey, what's happening? Welcome to the Extra Mile. We are in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Show starts tomorrow. I've got the day off. This place behind me is called Foxy Brown. They are famous for brunch. It's Sunday. I'm hungry. Let's do this. All right, here's the deal. I, I love brunch. Like Foxy Brown has got brunch on lock. This is Chef Miguel. Hi, how are you? Okay, so, so uh, uh, Chef led us on the line. Thank you so much in the middle of this like crazy brunch service. Brunch is nuts. Brunch is always crazy. It's, it's eggs, it's quick, it's pans, it's, it's like seven minute ticket time. And what are you making right now, which is kind of cool. It's gonna be our green and grain bowl. I love that, it's healthy. We're gonna start off with little bangers sausage. This is uh, made from a local place in Miami. A little bit of sliced garlic, fresh spinach. Farro and quinoa mix. Nice complex carbohydrates, really good for you, good fuel, right? And people are gearing towards more healthy food as like, you can see in the last five years as well. Like, I am. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I love biscuits and gravy. Oh, don't, yeah, biscuits. I can eat it every day. Two poached eggs. A house made pico de gallo. Okay. That just kind of makes you happy, right? You go out to brunch, the sun is shining, right? I would be happy to You're get this. You're hanging with friends. The spinach is nice and juicy, right? The, right. the, the grains are nice and soft. It kind of feels like the healthy version of like a skinny margarita. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thank you, brother. You're very Appreciate welcome. It. What a great day off. Wow, look at this, stone crab claws, Hi, oh my god. Welcome to uh, Sea Salt Fish Markets booth at the Pompano Beach Seafood Festival. We specialize in fish that swim just off of our beaches, and so we work as much as we can with like the local commercial fishermen. And then we also do a lot of things like, you know, smoke our own fish, make our own dips, takeout menu, awesome fish tacos, so lots of good stuff. Can I try some stuff here? Yes, I would hope you would. You take the whole thing and separate it open? And then you get this like big, huge chunks of just like delicious South Florida crab meat. That's one of the best bites in the world. So you've had two really yummy things, but I want to talk to you about something that we're really proud of at Sea Salt Fish Market, which is our fish dip. We uh, use mahi and swordfish. That mahi kind of lays down a nice base, and then that fattiness of the swordfish really gives it a creamy texture. In the market, applewood smoke, break up by hand, fresh lemon juice, chopped jalapenos, and we leave it alone. It's like one of those things you, you find in, in like, like bagel shops in New York City. Yep. But we get down to South Florida, yep. we're not, you're not pulling whitefish from like Michigan. No, we're not. And if you are, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be, right? <laughs> yeah. It's got this like bacony flavor to it. Yep. Seriously, like sit over the over the over the sink in my kitchen. Yep. And I would eat this entire thing by myself. Are you guys having a good time here today? We're having a great time here today. Why not dip our toe in the water with one of the biggest 35 year going on seafood festivals in South Florida? Not only have you dipped your toe in the water, but you guys are in the deep end. Thank you. Because this is spectacular seafood. Thanks, Tyler. Can I get a few more crackers? Because yes, I'm just gonna walk around and nibble on my <laughs> my wife's salad. Day one of the great food truck race here. Um, as you can see, the crew is stacked up and ready to go. We've got a javelin challenge. They're gonna figure out if they're gonna make it surf or turf by throwing a stick at a bale of hay. Sprain, sprain, sorry, sprain. You gotta know who you're selling to, and you have to know if they're there or not. Right now, at like, you know, 5.15 in the afternoon, you know, right. might feel a little slow. I wonder where the people are. I'm gonna get the mozzarella butter burger, and then I want the uh, rosemary garlic fries, please. 
<laughs> Hashtag mozzarella butter burger. Mother of butter burger. Mother of butter burger. Say that five times. Mother of butter burger. <laughs> the bun is perfectly toasted. You got that oozy goozy bit, you know? Running down my chin. I'm a fan. You got five more minutes. Like, what are you going to do to get that last customer? Right? You've seen how tight and how close these competitions can be. Absolutely. Can I get? Can I be a customer? Absolutely. I'll be a customer. I'll yeah, buy yeah. something. This food's fantastic. These are delicious skewers. I love those. Mm, really, really good. It's six o'clock, guys. It's closing time. All right, so we're just wrapping up here at the Great Food Truck Race. It's been a crazy ride here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Thanks so much for watching the Extra Mile, and we'll see you next week on the road. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching the Extra Mile on Food Network's YouTube channel. That's a wrap here in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Make sure you smash that like button, turn on that bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time on the road.